Hi there, my name is Jim Merritt. I am President and CEO of Quick Trainer. I am also a QuickBooks Advanced Certified Pro Advisor. Today's video is meant to show you what to do when a customer uh, client gives you a check and that check is returned by your bank for insufficient funds. And uh, in this scenario, what we have is a, an invoice that's been paid and we're going to find out now that um, it's been returned by our bank. The first uh, step in doing this, and this is one of those things you only have to do one time, is you need two items set up. One is for the return check itself. Notice that it's an other charge. I named it bounce check. Its amount is zero because you know each time you might receive a bounce check it's going to be a different amount. It is a non-taxable item and that's key and it's going to point directly back to your bank account. All right, and uh, the second item you'll need, again, it is also an other charge. We're going to call this a bad check charge. You know, when your bank, uh, or when a, a check is returned to your bank, they typically charge you a fee, and that fee can be anywhere from 20, 25, 30 uh, dollars. And it only makes sense that you pass this charge on to your customer. In fact, I highly recommend that you make money from it because it really is an inconvenience. So in this case, um, when I use this to post the charge by my bank, this is being the cost side, I'm calling it bad check charge from bank. And um, I'm putting it a fault of $20. On this side, I'm just calling it a bad check charge and this is what will show up on an invoice that we'll create in just a few minutes. And again, it is non-taxable, and it points to a GL income account called Return Check Charges. All right, so here we found, uh, we've got an invoice. We were paid for this invoice on um, the 22nd. And we can see here that um, it was deposited on the 22nd as well, okay? Normal, everyday operating procedure. So then we find out that the, um, the customer's check came back to us. Let me just give you a visual of what's going on here. Um, all right, so, and we'll go all the way. Now, nah, let's not do that. Right here, okay. Okay, now, on the 24th, we find out the check has been returned, and this is why you see a bank service charge and so this is what you would want to do. You would want to post this to the account, um, to your BBNT account, using the item called bank check charge and whatever your bank charged you. And also note here who the customer is um, that this charge is being incurred upon as a result of. And then, um, so using the two items now, we're going to create a brand new invoice for the same customer. We're going to use um, one bounce check, and we're going to make this the same amount as the invoice. If I do previous, I'll see 1689.52, 1689.52, and then we're going to post the bad check charge. So now the customer needs to bring us a check or cash uh, for 1,729.52, and then we would go about receiving our payment for that. And uh, let's pretend the the check number is 1235 and um, we're going to receive this now so we'll say save and close banking make deposits and uh, we'll deposit this uh, uh, we'll call it the 20, 28th is when we'll deposit it okay so now what has happened as I bring this out a few more dates you'll see that there's where we created the invoice 126 for the forty dollars this hasn't changed and uh, the money's now in the account and if we look at the banking account itself you'll see there's where the money came in there's where we hit the charge we reversed it and now um, as we do make deposits we'll deposit this and that's it. That's everything you need to know. Make it a great day.